Hey, hey, Waffle Gang, I do hope you are well. My name is Mark, and today we're checking out some more relationship stories. And if you do love a Reddit story, why not consider hitting that like, subscribe, maybe that notification bell too. <laughs> and let's crack on with today's first story. Now, today's first story comes from a throwaway account, and it does come with an update. It's titled, My Girlfriend, 25 Female, repeatedly insists that I redo my proposal over and over. I'm running out of patience. I, 24 male, proposed to my girlfriend, 25 female, in late 2019, after two years together. Admittedly, now I think back on it, it wasn't the most well thought out or planned proposal. It was mostly spontaneous and came as we were lying in bed together. So I didn't even have a ring at the time. At the time, my girlfriend said that she would love to marry me, but she had been looking forward to a more elaborate proposal. I assured her that I'd sort something out. A month later, after shopping for the perfect ring, I set up some candles when she was coming home one day. Think the Chandler Monica proposal in Friends and asked her again. Well, my girlfriend loved the ring, thankfully, and teared up in happiness. She said that she really appreciated my effort, but what she meant by elaborate was something original that she could tell our kids about one day. She mentioned the name of one of her friends whose boyfriend, we both know, proposed by making a huge video montage of their time together and putting it on a projector. I decided to start over, and in February, I planned a three-night trip away in our favorite city. This time, I spared no expense and ordered all the extras. A five-star hotel, a photographer, even an opera quartet. When I asked her to marry me, my girlfriend said yes, and I thought all was well except when we were alone again. She gently told me she didn't think now was the right time. And she was so worried about her future slash COVID-19 that a proposal now wouldn't be a good memory for her. Since then, I've carried the ring around with me almost everywhere. At this point, I've even tried to involve my girlfriend in some of the proposal planning, asking where, when, and how she'd like us to get engaged and what would make her happy. However, all she has told me is that she doesn't know exactly what she's looking for, and I'll know when the right proposal comes. From my perspective, this is hugely frustrating since in all other respects, she assured me she wants us to begin our lives together. Last week, I thought I'd bite the bullet again, and after cooking her a homemade meal, I asked her if she'd like to be my wife. She asked me if I was trying to propose, and I asked her what was wrong with that. Once more, she told me that she can't wait to marry me, but it still wasn't the quite proposal she needed. Honestly, at this point, I'm frustrated. I realize that my girlfriend might come off as pushy or high maintenance in this post, <laughs> but I love her very much. And in day-to-day -day life, she's honestly the most understanding, chill person to be around. However, I don't understand why she's acting this way and, and what I'm supposed to do to satisfy her with a perfect proposal at this point. I'm confused and running out of patience. How do I deal with this? Now to me in this situation, either I kind of think that, you know, she just doesn't want to be married at this point or doesn't want to be engaged. And, you know, I know people have these, these fantasy proposals in their mind, but surely if you love that person enough, you'd say yes to them regardless, right? I could maybe understand you'd see a bit more than, you know, lying in bed together when there's no ring or nothing and it's just sort of off the cuff, do you want to get married kind of thing. You'd, you'd maybe want to make it a bit more of a special occasion than that. I kind of get that right. But you know, she can equally propose to him as well. If she's got the perfect proposal in her head, she could propose to him. Dude paid for a five-star hotel, the ring, a photographer, an opera quartet. What more does she want? And that's why I'm going down the path of, yeah, maybe she's just not ready to get married at all. Not that it's right to string OP along like this if that was the case. She needs to let her feelings known on that. And I think they just need to have that discussion together. So I'm gonna be very interested in where this update is going to go. But Bigu says, I'm late to the party, but it sounds like your girlfriend is either living in a fairy tale or she doesn't want to marry you and is just waiting for a better guy to come along. Either way, it's time to stop proposing and look for a new girlfriend, in my opinion. She need to relax says, I know this is late, but I'm jealous. She's been getting all these proposals while I'm here getting none. <laughs> but honestly, she should love any proposal you throw at her. You're an amazing guy for planning all this. It does sound like your SO needs to wake up from her fantasy and appreciate what's in front of her. A bit of a red flag. Friends Fanatic 44 says, 
This is my one takeaway from this and look at my username. 25 female and married for just over two years. My husband proposed me exactly like Monica and Chandler's and even had it playing in the background on DVD at 6 a.m. You are a saint. If I were you, I would not be in a relationship with that person anymore. You're too good for her. The whole hotel thing sounded amazingly planned out and she still doesn't like it. She's not the one for you. Edited to add, even the first proposal in bed would have sufficed. That's romantic as fuck. Oh yeah, that home-cooked meal thing? That's ground for a major sex session too. Cheeky. Just my humble opinion. And one more because there's a little cheeky story within a story here from Jessica OK who says, similar thing happened to our neighbor. Two houses down, a couple in their late 20s live. They have four little girls who are always over at my house playing with my kids. I don't know the parents super well, other than light interaction. The mother is kind of a bitch and my husband has had several arguments with her over it. I kill her with kindness because I simply don't care. Her kids have been coming over to my house for four years now, every single day. I'm just happy my kids have good friends. So on the 4th of July, all the neighbors came out to party and my husband was across the street with his neighbor friend having some drinks and all the kids are playing. The couple down the street comes over for an hour and my husband got all the gossip for me. The woman sat there and told the whole group of neighbors how her boyfriend has proposed to her five times and she just accepted the last proposal. This last time he booked for them to go skydiving and paid for a videographer to capture it on video. Unfortunately, he did not have them capture the proposal when they landed on the ground, but it was a complete surprise to her. She admitted the first thing she said was, I said yes, only because I was so frustrated at that point. I didn't want to wait another five years for another proposal. She said she was pissed he didn't get it on video, and the whole time apparently her fiancé was just standing there quietly agreeing with her and looking scared of her. Then she told everyone she was going to be a princess and it was going to be held at a castle and he was going to be a prince. Then they went home. My husband was equally as disturbed and thought it was weird, as did the rest of the neighbors. Holy shit. That's just so infuriating. Someone put in all this effort to make this proposal and it keeps getting rejected and rejected like that. Oh. Let's move on to the update to find out what happened next. So update. Thank you to everybody for your advice. I actually wrote this post yesterday, but it was but it was too soon to post an update. There are a lot of people calling my girlfriend a future bridezilla, and while my post may have made her seem demanding, I'd just like to clarify that she is really my best friend and a great person. There's no chance of us breaking up. Saying that, after thinking about a lot of the responses I received, I decided to sit my girlfriend down and draw a line in the sand. I told her that after four proposals, I'm lost and confused as to what she wants. And if she has a dream proposal in mind, she has to tell me exactly what she wants so I can make this work. My girlfriend looked somewhat nervous at that, so I pushed her to communicate properly. She apologized again for not accepting my proposals earlier, but said that in 2019, she was still testing out our relationship. And so when I asked her to marry me, she said, try again, rather than yes, in the hope that I'd wait longer. From her perspective, while she had responded positively to the idea of marriage prior to this, it had still been too soon for a real engagement. I will admit that I'm not the best at reading social subtext if it's not stated directly, so I could have missed the implication when she asked for a different proposal. When I later asked her in February, she knew I was the one but was telling the truth about being too anxious to consider marriage. She actually confessed that she's planning on proposing to me later this year sometime around when we were planning to fly to my home country. She had been trying to keep it a surprise, but we've now agreed that it's better we're both on the same page when it comes to proposing. We've decided that we're both going to sit down and work together to make the proposal special for both of us. And look, I'm very happy that they spoke this out and they come to some sort of agreement and some sort of mutual understanding about it and she's gonna be proposing to him. But this could have all been solved so much sooner. That's the only thing that's in my head at the moment, so I have to get it out. The words simply, you know, I'm not quite ready for marriage yet. Our relationship is quite early and in early stages to me. Let, let's wait a little and see how it goes, but I really do love you, you know. That, that would work, right? Better than saying something like, you should do something more elaborate so it's a better story for our kids someday. <laughs> oh, my wordy word. Now, I'm going to turn this one to you guys. What do you guys make of this situation? 
What would you do if you was OP and you felt like you was being strung along like that? Is that grounds enough to leave someone or would you want to discuss it further? I think I would still be frustrated that a few previous times I've proposed to someone and they've known that no was always going to be the answer. I, f I find that quite frustrating, I think. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below and let's move on to another story. And our next story comes from a throwaway account titled My 29 Male Wife 27 Female has been working from home the past few months and has started having her high school ex over a lot. I told her this is unacceptable. Am I in the wrong for this? Hey everyone, I know that the title may sound confusing without the background that I am about to give. So, ever since COVID started, my wife has been working from home. My job never let us do that, so I've still been driving to work every day. She has a friend she occasionally hangs out with. He's been invited to hang out with both of us before too. He's nice, fun to hang around and pretty cool. I've had no problem with this. My wife made me aware pretty early on that she dated him in high school. She said that they dated their freshman and sophomore year. They never had sex, but did mess around. They started reconnecting as friends during the senior year. At that time, he had a girlfriend and she was starting to see another guy as well. She claims that after they broke up, there was never anything romantic between them again. When COVID started, my wife said she would be able to work from home. I was glad and happy for her as I knew it would be easier and even save gas. She said that her friend was going to be able to work from home too, so they may meet up sometimes to go over their work and help each other. They both work in a similar field. One day I came home and noticed that he was there. I thought nothing of it really as my wife had told me about this. They both had their computers and looked like they were working pretty hard. For a while it was like this. Suddenly, a few weeks in, I would come home and they would be casually hanging out and having fun. Sometimes they would be playing a game, sometimes they would be drinking, sometimes they would be eating. I started finding this a little bit weird. It seemed as though he was getting more attention than me and that she was having a better time with him than me. Then one day when I came home, it was the final straw. They were both on the couch and her head was in his lap while they were watching TV. I waited until he left and then had a talk with her. I was fuming. I yelled at her and told her that their actions have been unacceptable and there's no reason that she should be laying with a friend like that. I expressed how I felt that she has been showing him more attention than her husband and that it seemed like that they were having more fun together than we do. Not to mention that they had dated before and fooled around. She got really upset and said I had no right to tell her that she can no longer hang around someone. She was mad that I seemed to claim that she was cheating on me with him and swore that she was not and would not do that. She said that all they were doing was relaxing and that was it and that it was not wrong for her to lay her head on his lap. The last two days, he has not been at the house when I got home. She says that she has not seen him since our talk. I apologize for being so angry about it. She doesn't seem like she really has accepted my apology and she's been really quiet around me ever since. How do I make things better? Is she cheating? How do I handle things between her and this friend? And of course, we do have an update to this post as well. Uh, no. And I've got to say, and, and probably part of this is gonna be a me issue as well, even the working together with your ex at your own house would make me feel uncomfortable. That could be a me issue because you know, they could be perfectly innocent and just working hard together. Male and female co-workers do work together, but it's the whole ex thing that's getting to me in this one. But coming back to find her head in his lap as well, absolutely not. I would have been calling that out there and then. I wouldn't have been waiting for him to go naturally. He'd have been out that door. And she's not respecting your, you or your relationship in this one little bit. Can anyone here picture that scenario? Coming back to your house after you've been at work all day, you walk in the door and there's your partner with her head in her ex's lap. Yeah. Formerly Tipsy says, I agree with you. When you said they had computers out and were working hard, I felt it seemed innocent enough. However, a woman putting her head in some guy's lap? No, no, no. Boundaries are being crossed. It is not appropriate and she knows it. Would she be okay if the situation was reversed? OP replies saying, thank you. I don't like how everyone is automatically saying that it's wrong that the guy is over there in the first place. Sure, it's weird and they dated, but that was very many years ago. I had no problem when they were working, but what they did was taking it too far. 
Mr. Says set up a hidden SSID and at least one wireless camera and tape over slash disable the camera light. You're not going to like what you find. His kitty says, you are not at all in the wrong here. At first it seemed innocent enough, but putting your head in the lap of someone you're not with is suspicious as fuck. She's right that you have no right to tell her to do something, but since you explained and asked her to stop and she's being defensive like this, I'm getting a ton of red flags. If she's not cheating, she's sure not showing respect for you as her partner. It wouldn't surprise me if she is cheating though, with how overly close they seem to be getting. Runaway model says that's not okay. She's not respecting your relationship. Her head shouldn't be in his lap at all, and it should make you uncomfortable since they used to have a relationship. If the roles were reversed and you had her ex's lap in your lap, she also would be uncomfortable. Her getting mad at you for questioning it and gaslighting the situation and you. I wouldn't put my head in a guy's lap if I didn't feel some type of chemistry. It's definitely flirty. I think you guys need to discuss boundaries. It's important that you guys agree on what you consider to be okay and not okay. If she thinks that type of behavior with an ex is acceptable and you don't, then things may not work. I would see where things go and what she does next. Her actions will speak louder than words. If these situations keep occurring though, it may be time to rethink if this is someone you want to be with. And one more from a deleted user who says, well, it does seem quite inappropriate to be drinking and chilling on the couch. Eating and stuff like that seems fine, but chilling with her head in his lap seems borderline and very inappropriate. Remember, they are supposed to be working. I can understand they distress by eating dinner and even watching TV or whatever. That said, is this happening pretty much every day or just happen once or twice? Either way, you need to have a serious talk with her. Sit her down and talk about boundaries rather than making demands of her not seeing the friend. It is bad to deny her a friend in the way that it sounds like you did, but your feelings are valid here. I don't know how trust can be regained here, but if I were her, I would have tried to find a way to reassure you rather than be combative. This is a situation where I think you have cause for concern, but it may still be fairly innocent. So it's tricky and without a good proper heart to heart talk with her, this will grow resentment. It may be a good idea to request from her that you be allowed to see their communication. Text, Facebook, Instagram. Important here that you don't demand to keep continuous eye on her phone. Just have her unlock her phone in full view of you so you can get some reassurance with this guy. If she reacts strongly to this, I think you have your answer and it's time to take this as a serious threat to your marriage. You need to proceed delicately, but you deserve and need this to be resolved, otherwise suspicion will grow and with that comes resentment. Now, let's go on to that update to find out what happened next. So the update says, so last week I posted here about my wife spending time at our house with an old ex that she used to have from high school. He'd been coming over and working from home with her ever since COVID started. At first I thought nothing of it as they were just simply helping each other with their work. Then they started to hang out and stuff more. When I caught her laying down with her head in his lap, I had enough. I told her he could no longer come over. She was mad and took offense to this, but agreed. Most people here agreed with me that it was sketchy for her to do this. I was made aware that he could still be coming over during the day and leaving before I get there. I ended up buying a camera that I could set up and hide while I'm at work. I put one in the living room and one in the bedroom. The first day they were set up, I saw nothing unusual. The second day was when it happened. The ex came over. At first they were just working, then he started to get pretty touchy with her. It progressed until they went up into our bedroom and sleeping together. I was shocked. I wasn't sure what to do. As soon as I saw my wife again, I questioned her if she had been seeing him anymore. She denied it. I told her that I had cameras installed in the house. Her face changed completely then. She knew what I had seen. She immediately started crying. I told her to leave the house. She tried to apologize and explain, but I wasn't having any of it. Since then, we have talked to each other once. I told her that I don't see how anything can happen besides a divorce. She said she doesn't want that and asked if I would go to couples counseling one time before making that final decision. I reluctantly agreed. I don't expect it to work and I'm mainly doing it to humor her. I'm still looking and trying to contact divorce attorneys as I'm typing this. And from a situation like that, I don't think there's any way back from it really is the the head in the lap stuff just wasn't normal behavior she got caught doing that and then she gaslit you for it 
you know, she was caught basically multiple times in this instance and, and tried to gaslight you for it. So if OP was to go to counseling in the end with her, who's it going to benefit most? It's going to benefit her mostly, isn't it? So, and maybe I'm just basing that too much on, on my own point of view and what I would do in that situation, because I just don't believe that I could continue to trust someone who'd done this to me. I mean, I've never been in that situation, but thinking about it, I just don't think I could. But what do you guys make of this situation? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And just a huge thank you for spending 20 to 30 minutes with me today, getting involved in the stories. Your love, support, and time always means the absolute world to me. At the end, you will see the members list and a couple of playlists there as well. Thank you to all the members who's been getting involved as well absolutely incredible can never thank you enough for what you do and i'll see you in the next one take care guys much love wake up get up stretch my legs eat some breakfast milk and eggs brush my teeth up watch my face throw my clothes on start my day wake up i can smell the smoke from the bacon Let's go, see the sun shining from the windows yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know that today